got her picture and we got her car key. I also got Carson's apartment key. Hmm. Let's see if we can find her car and find some information on her. To the parking deck. stuck at the car. This seems to be a woman's diary. Let's see. I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful. Oh my god. Wow, I don't want to read this. This is a lot. <laughs> well, she met this guy, Rolf. He's German. European men are so classy than the boring California guys. Uh, he has to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. Oops. Woo. Hold on. He looks rich. I'm going shopping tomorrow. Pick something up that won't make me look like a big fat pig. Can't wait to see him. No, she's not shallow. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week. And if I, th and if it is what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less tight about, uh, uptight about this sort of thing. I woke up at 9 p.m. last uh, today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. Woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what's wrong with me. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. He said that's all I could eat now. That I, that I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had taken a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I couldn't. What's happening to me? Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people were trying to force him out of the country. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He, w he was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. Let's see. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why did he have to do this to me? I talked with this guy I met in in uh, the Surfside until 5 in the morning, until 5 this morning. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. I met that guy from Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. I, bought e I brought E, the guy from Surfside. Back to, my, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days. Now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I never felt this way about anyone before. Not even Rolf. He kissed me last night, and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I... I but I drank too much, and... I gave him, I gave him my blood to save him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid what will happen. I remember Rolf brought me blood from the blood bank. Maybe if I sneak in, I can grab a few, a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. Sad little whore girl. Well, she's not a whore, but seems like it. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's 
go see what we can find at uh, Carson's apartment. Tattoo parlor. Why oh, isn't this place lovely? not want to get another tattoo. Not if it was done here. Jesus Christ, what do they do? Strap you down? I thought mine was bad. I held myself down with force alone. Huh? They strap you down. What the hell are they doing? Hmm. Phone. It's creepy down here. Quick cash for modeling called Grimble's po uh, prosthesis. Feet and hands. It's kind of scary. Hello, telephone. Hello. Might I speak with Mr. McGee? Oh, phone just jumped out of my hand. <laughs> it's kind of funny. No. Can you solve the mystery of the missing McGee? Report about this rendezvous. Well, Mr. McGee was going to be doing some modeling for me. Medical reference for the work that I do here in the studio. It's a shame, really. The proposition would have been quite lucrative for him. Perhaps I could pose for this peep show. Why, yes, that sounds delightful. Perhaps you could come down to my studio and we can sort out the details. Where is your lair of lenses? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. I look forward to buzzing your basement. Very good. And uh, might I say that you have the most colorful way of saying things. Very interesting dissection of the language. Well, anyway, speak with you soon. I color the world with the hues of my madness. Farewell. Doesn't even ask who he's talking to, just, hey, you want a model for me? That's a bit creepy. Creepier than this tattoo parlor from hell. It's Silent Hill! But we didn't descend any elevators to get here. Hmm. Well, anyway. <laughs> I digress. Let's try the prosthetics. Yes, may I help you? Only if you have a straight jacket. <laughs> really, he won't let you in until you say the correct thing, so you can say that's all you want, because it's just funny. Yes, may I help you? Which of my personnel is you asking? No, it'll just be like, what? Ah, <laughs> oh, the Limb Lord! No, two buzzes are the same. 